Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Dead Space 3, chapter 18, the penultimate chapter of the game. I've picked up another acid bath, Christ almighty, I think I've picked up about 10 now altogether. Electrocution module as well. I'm a bit confused at this point because the game's telling me to come back to here. This is where we enter the room. This is a pretty cool location, a bit of atmosphere, the mist ahead of us. This game certainly does lack atmosphere compared to the first two. It doesn't mean that there isn't atmosphere at all, but it's not as good. Oh shit, the bed. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Someone behind you. Look at this. Three TK shots necessary, ladies and gentlemen. I mean... I've fully upgraded my TK. I spoke about this a few times book, earlier in the Let's the Play, machine. but it definitely 100% bears repeating. If I've upgraded the Kinesis no TK damage fully, oh god, I'll speak about this in a second, and it's taking three well, to be honest, shots exactly to kill, then how many shots will it take? Oh, here we go. How many shots will it take when. It's not upgraded. The only advice I can offer Makes no sense. Be observant. The clues are out there. So as you can see there, my Xbox yet again disconnecting from Xbox Live. It isn't my internet, it isn't Xbox Live. It's something that hit that is pretty commonplace these days. If I play a 360 game on my Xbox One, the console will do this, and I don't know why. I'm a little bit angry there, as you can see. I don't know where the game wants me to go. But yeah, and as you can see, at least for about 20 seconds or so, I get this really slow, sluggish gameplay where the frame rate is struggling. And this is a single-player game, so I don't understand why it's happening. I'm not playing a line. And there's more. Oh, that was a nice shot. Shedding some light on the situation there as well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, I'm getting a headache. God, I don't know if it's this room or one other room that looks very similar, but there's a few nasty fights here which are just god awful. I don't think it's this one. This one might be Stalkers and Scooby Doo Fishermen, yeah? I think it is, yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned earlier in the Let's Play, but Stalkers are one of the only enemies in the game that actually play by the rules. They don't cheat like a lot of other enemies do in the game. They're getting shot on here. They are getting shot on, ladies and gentlemen. Three grenade rounds, ladies and gentlemen, that's up to kill him. These enemies are shit, and I hate them, and I always will. Oh my lord. Now, did I not just say 30 seconds ago? That Stalkers played by the rules? That guy glitches on top of there. And then what does he do? He just play by the rules. He just couldn't make it up, ladies and gentlemen. I 
this is definitely going to go down as one of my least favourite projects I've ever done. You know, I've got to ask myself this question. If I had to record and upload Resident Evil 6, would I enjoy it? <laughs> and ultimately, the answer is no. I do have to repeat myself at times during these Let's Plays because the things that I do repeat, I think, are some of the most important things I've got to say during the Let's Play. And ultimately, the main reason you're seeing this is because of the remake to the first game and because one day you're going to see it come to the channel. And because there's, it's just given a new bit of new life into the series so far. Although I don't love this game, let, let's do this, you know. Let's do a let's play. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? All important roll. You know that mechanic shit when I only do it for comedic effect. Oh, here we go. We got the pod things. These are the things that can kill you later on in chapter 19, the last chapter of the game. They are in a really annoying position and there's metal like shrapnel everywhere. I didn't die to it on this playthrough, but I don't really know how I'm managing to avoid them. I'm just getting lucky, really. It's not a Dead Space 2 where I know what I'm doing. Christ, I can't imagine dying there on hardcore. But yeah, we've got a mixture of cysts and stalkers. I think I get hit here once. But this is a very small area. And a bit tricky, potentially, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> Me. If that's the second game on Zelda, I think I'm probably taking damage for that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my Lord. So many fights in this game that I'm close to doing kind of effortlessly, and some of those wrong always at least once. Just the way that the game's designed, ladies and gentlemen. Careful to avoid the cysts here. The invasive growth in this area has made it difficult to make much progress. Dig teams continue to get caught in the ancient sticky webbing. There is no doubt in my mind that the sticky webbing. above are essential to the configuration of this alien machine. Based on my observations of the alien script, and here I forget to actually use the elevator. The signal or power source when properly aligned. Central Eastern, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to take my hoodie off. Oh, pardon me. Had enchiladas, my tea chicken enchiladas, bit of onion in there as well, and like a salsa kind of tomato based sauce with some sweet corn. Not the biggest meal, I'm getting a bit hungry now, but uh, it's quite nice nevertheless. Bit of barbecue sauce as well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and this is interesting. This, if I remember correctly, goes really badly wrong. And it's kind of a shame because this area. It's kind of cool. It 
It's definitely one of the best looking areas in the game and this puzzle is not difficult but it's something different I guess. But the combat goes particularly badly and uh, yeah, I am getting pretty pissed off from what I remember. <laughs> well, stairs, you mean to go on to be fair when you mess up two stasis shots like that. One of those rare moments where I can't blame the game. I've got to hate the player. Fools. I'm waiting for extra spawns here. I'm just thinking to myself, what's the point of doing this puzzle when I know that more of them are going to turn up? Oh shit. How is he not dead? Oh my lord, you better believe there's pause rage. Seriously. Do I'm moving off the platform though because Mr. Tentacle Man is the Yeah, th this is as bad as I thought it was. Oh my days, this game's gameplay man. Why are there this many oh under his legs of course? the worst bit of gameplay in the whole game. Oh, what? Why did that first ball sack not hit him? What the hell was that about, man? How are we done? Might be done, ladies and gentlemen. I hope we're done. Are we there yet? No, we're not. Let's see how this is going to be uploaded. About five days, it'll be finished before Christmas. Then it'll be the Merry Christmas subscribers video. And then. Did not mention this, but. Hey, just got the power line. Looks like it opened another activation terminal. We're getting closer to fixing this machine, Carver. There's going to be a video. Including about seven or different, seven or eight different games. One or two left of field games and some classics that you guys are used to me playing. Just a few funny different clips that I've recorded on my Xbox from this year. Right back at you, jackass. She. Welcome, my son, to the heart of machine. Well, 
you've successfully turned the city into a giant pretzel. Now what? Mr. Serrano's right. I should be able to return to the first activation point to enter the final setting. What happens then? Hey, I work on spaceships. Not you? alien machines, right. Matten's got a point. How many times have we done this mechanic now in the like last chapter? And we've got to do it quite a few times more. It's just like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's like, it just loses its meaning, man. It's like, what am I doing here? Where am I going? What am I doing? The definition of like freaking life, ladies and gentlemen, it's just not, <laughs> it's not about fun at all. Now, is this a shit show? Is this a shit show? No. The shit show must be when I come back this way. I mean, I've, I swear I've already been in this room about three or four different times. But welcome to the end of this game. Oh, we're back this here. This isn't the way, Isaac. There is a future for you, for all of us. Leave me alone, Danik. You can see them again, Isaac. Everyone you've lost along the way, it's a future with no regrets. I have no regrets, Danik. One way or another, this will all be over soon. Isaac! to say um, pretty sure I've spoken about this before but these kind of games I don't like crafting I don't want to be able to craft my own ammo at least not every bit of ammo or craft health you know ammo and health in these kind of games should be scarce and you know the evil within two made it worse as well I think crafting in the last of us two was a lot better especially in the harder difficulties because you can't manipulate it so much you really can't Especially if you play on above and hard difficulty. So, oh shit, this is the shit show. Fuck this room, I'm stasis in and running. Can't be bothered fighting these guys. I'm not having it. And I've gone the wrong way, holy shit. <laughs> Got no time for these fools. <clears throat> oh, my God. Right, so another time we've got to do this, and yet I'm, I'm, something's happening. I, I don't care about spoilers in this game. If you're watching this and you're not wanting spoilers, then you're watching the wrong let's play, let's be honest. You guys should know that. I'm sure you do by now, Jesus Christ. But I still don't want to get, give the game away, but I'll mention it in a bit. I'll mention it in a bit. Yeah, you motherfuckers just fight amongst each other. Don't mind me. That's the way I feel here. What is the point of fighting? I can't be bothered, man. I can't be bothered anymore. So these ones are going to become kind of like a an X, if you will. No, not kind of. Those will become fully upright and look quite rude.
Pause rage because the twitch is here. on the aliens. Christ almighty, it gets worse, man. It gets worse. But yeah, obviously... Ooh, nice headshot, though. Incredibly, who would have expected it? Ellie is still alive, and absolutely nobody who played this game thought that she was actually dead. Of course, she was always going to be alive because of plot armor. Potholes and this game's story, and just like characters never being dead when they should be, and thus it just loses all sense of meaning. And of course, right at the end of the game and in the wake and DLC, I'll speak about that a little bit more. But it just makes everything feel so hollow, man. It really does. Oh, she just miraculously somehow survived that burning room. Yeah, of course she is. Okay, whatever. So dumb. Even though, of course, she's a completely different character in this game anyway. But anyway, for one last time, we're in this room. Okay, now what? Three receptacles, three statues, three markings. What's the final step? What's the final step? As he says in Dead Space 2, of course. Step 4! Oh no, step three is the uh, the machine. Oh shit. Death is only the beginning. That was a quick beginning for you, pal. Get shot on. Look at that grenade just coming close to me. Whoo! Seeker rifle, I must admit. Makes light work of these guys. Very good weapon. You know, obviously I spoke about the weapons in this game being crap. But imagine if you could actually have eight weapons like you can in Dead Space 1 and 2. Because you can. I've spoken about this before. You know, you can have eight weapons in the first two games. Because you get four weapons with a primary and an auto fire. But that's not the case in this game. You get half the amount of weapons. Said it before, I'll say it again. If you could have the weapons that you have in the second game, and the AI behaved the same, this game wouldn't be anywhere near as bad. And it'd, it'd get it from a five... Maybe I'm... too positive. <laughs> Christ, I've never even called that before. Maybe I'm being too generous, but... I guess I'd give this game a six out of ten. But it'd get it up to a seven... If uh, the gameplay was like uh, the second game, like I mentioned many times before in this Let's Play. Anyway, there's the last thingy, my Bob. And I am five minutes away from getting towards the last chapter. Which 
shall be narrating tomorrow alongside the Awakened DLC. I don't really want to be commentating on Awakened because it lasts an hour, but I'm going to do so. I really hope these videos get a few views, ladies and gentlemen. That would be nice. All right, Carver. Another door just opened up. We gotta be close to the control center for the Codex. We've done everything else Serrano's set to do. I'm heading in. Say, um... There he is himself, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Earl Serrano. And we're getting a couple of stasis packs here for good freaking reason. Because the game's gonna end with some good old abseiling. Goodbye, Earl. John busted my knee open. I suppose the codex is in Mahad's hands by now. And this place is about to be buried. Like everywhere else. Name drop. The name drop. So, pretty self explanatory, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see here. You got a left, you got a middle, you got a right. And when it's lighting up, don't be in the middle of it, because you're going to take damage. And we've got these cogs. Someone tell Marcus Phoenix, get him on the scene. I'm going to get as close to them as I can without getting killed. I'm going to wait for the middle one to shine. Once it stops, I'm going to wait for that to go past. And then I'm going to stasis. Ooh, but I don't like that. I'm close to it, though. If that starts moving again in slow-mo, that can easily kill you. Look at that rope, man. <laughs> How freaking long is the rope here? Again, so frustrating. Oh, that's frustrating. And now I gotta wait. Imagine if you had the option to like stasis something and then do the opposite. Like get it out of stasis straight away. I don't know why you'd want to do that for normal gameplay, but can't help but wish that was a thing. In this bloody annoying part. But anyway, we're there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Carver got here before us somehow. I am. But Kerber is about to initiate 20 IQ as he destroys humanity. Man's a freaking moron. Crazy motherfucker, Danik. You Elton John tribute band. You piece of shit. When I get my hands up that man, I'm gonna kill him. I'll tell you that much, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, never mind. But now, as the world ends, when I finish this, it's all going down. An emotional moment. You have to go. Exactly what this game needed. You get out of here. Go back to Earth space. Tell them what we found. I'm staying. That's all I got left. You 
can't stop him, Carver. Not without me. I'm the marker killer, remember? Isaac. I turned my back on the world because I was afraid of what needed to be done. Ellie, I'm not afraid anymore. Clark Simpin. Can I say that word without getting cancelled, Annie? Apologies if you just heard my guts gurgling, ladies and gentlemen. But it's still not as disgusting as this cutscene. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the last chapter. Possibly the last ever chapter of this franchise. Shame it had to end like this. But I do like the music in this next chapter, and there's a feeling of kind of... It's a shit version of chapters 14 and 15 from the second game where you just gotta run.